feeling confident in what you've sought to acquire, you begin to make your way back towards the uh, Vidun Devar, the windowed wall, where you are currently holed up with the elderly compatriot who is granting you space in the room where her husband once lived. Uh, but in heading back and walking through the street and making your way towards that destination, um, the streets are busy as the individuals who are finishing up their work for the day or their various errands for the afternoon are heading back to their abodes, whereas the, the night crew, as some people refer to it, those who either work during the night or definitely play during the night, are beginning to make their way out into the evening air. Uh, you hear the strange, you specifically, Imogen, feel it. This this odd, low, bassy rumble. And right as you hear it, you see it. This dull blue flash that emerges kind of about 30, 40 feet ahead of you off the side of the street. And you kind of glance over in that space and you can immediately see what looks to be a cart being pulled by two of these seal goats behind it. As it seems to be this small kind of uh, arcane sphere that woof, emerges from it, flashes for a second, both of the goats rear up and rush into a, a charge forward. As they do, the cart seems to dislodge and split onto its side, crashing into the street. Boxes scattering across the center of the road. People around, oh God, like looking at each other and checking to make sure it's okay. The boxes hit and break open. As they do, looks like utensils and furniture and, and, and bits of, of decoration scatter onto the ground. And what looks to be a small kitchen knife <laughs> begins to glide into the air. Huh? A table that was turning its side, the legs bend, <coughs> and the table seems to be moving of its own accord. Are you seeing this? A broom uh... suddenly <laughs> begins to whip up into the air. Oh. A sword scattered to the side begins to drift up with no wielder. Oh, um... And it looks to be a rolled up rug that had spilled open begins to wrinkle and pulse. Oh my gosh. You hear this commotion outside, both of you. What, what, what's that? Is that a party? Let's find out. Uh, all right. Should I'm get closer? not even putting my, my drink down. I'm going straight out. <laughs> okay, you two rush. The three of you had just begun to make your way the outside of the Spire by Fire before you watch this sudden minor cataclysm to this cart occur and these objects beginning to move under their own power in the center of the street. Do we see any people nearby? There are many people nearby, and some of them are curious, some of them are like kind of frozen in place, a bit spooked, and some are just running. I'd like you all to roll. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. the first half of the first episode. Oh, no. What, what, what is happening? Howdy okay. dowdy do this. Howdy do this. What? What? Yeah. what? Touching it so close. Touching it. Touching it. Close. Look at the rug. Whoa. The rug. So awesome. Uh, this is the sword that is drifting. This is the knife. This is the rug. This is the table, and this is the broom. Oh my gosh. Those uh, are our enemies. We're fighting. There's something. <laughs> now, uh, if I could have uh, Imogen, Laudna, whereabouts would you be standing? Which which oh, way sure, were we yeah, coming from? You guys would be walking sure. this direction, so you Look would likely that. be kind of over in this path. All right, um, back uh, back oh. uh, one for me. I would have stayed towards the side of the street. I, I want to stay away from people if I can, for the most part, whichever so, area. Sh sure. Uh, keep me work? by her. Yeah. So about there. Yeah, that's that looks that's right. close. All righty. If I could go ahead and get Ashton and Fresh Cut Grass, you guys were stepping outside of the front <laughs> there, and the cart is right there. I'm going to get used to it. Never. We ever will. <laughs> Smile and I haven't yet. <laughs> look at those minis. That feels oh my about right. gosh, look at you guys. Just step out the front there. They're so wee. <laughs> All right. Now, the rest of you who are. It's a big rug. Just arriving as well, we're kind of stepping across the side of the road to approach the front. So that is where you are currently placed. <laughs> so, Dorian, as you're stepping in and you see these crates open and these objects beginning to just shift in the air and move around, people you see scared and are now starting to run and running these blades. The, the sword itself seems to right itself in one of the direction. It looks like it's going for them. The knife is now starting to make its way towards one of the nearby people. It looks like these are not just enchanted objects, they are currently looking to 
Make a mess. What are you doing? Who? Uh, the Orm on deck. Uh, in any sort of conflict, first things first, I'm gonna look straight to Orm. I'm gonna go, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like those pointy things are pointing at those people, right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't change where we are. All right. And uh, I'm gonna sprint uh, toward that sort of uh, long sword headed for that poor guy with the bag. I'm gonna make half the distance, though. That's I'm just gonna half the there. distance. You got him. And uh, while I'm running, uh, I'm going to, on my hip, I've got a hand axe, and uh, I'm going to unclip it from my hip, mm -hmm. and I am going to attempt to throw it at the sword that is going for the guy in an attempt to Go divert for it. it. So you go ahead and throw the axe, roll on attack. All right, so as the axe hits the sword, you watch as they both impact and it seems to like hit the ground for a second. You're like, oh, you took it out. Then it rises and then ching, seems to like the metal itself vibrate in your direction as it's getting ready to reassess its direction. Uh, oh no. Uh, I'm. That's your turn? That's it, I'm frozen, that's it. Okay, I'm all right. terrified. Finishing Dorian's go, or I'm up for your on deck. Okay, uh, the boots on my feet sort of tighten uh, around them, the leather straps tighten around his feet, and I get a running start, run about 10 feet, and then spring into the air, flipping over the sword. I can make it 10 feet into the air, and uh, Orm is going to thrust down, uh, swing his sword down and knock it towards the ground if he can, and I'm gonna use a goading attack. Go for it. As you strike down on top of it, it once again clatters to the ground, and you feel like you pin it to the floor, and it's kind of hitting into the stone, and you, see, you feel it fighting, it's weird. You never had a weapon fight on its own against you until eventually it slides off under your blade and rights itself. You can see it's looking a bit scuffed and it's it's looking a bit damaged, but it is still intent on massacring whatever's in front of it. Awesome. Well, that's new. I'm gonna just wait for the next thing. All right, finishing that, Fern, you're up. Okay, um, I'm going to take my thorn whip off of my hip okay. um, and I'm gonna look over at this rug and just try to snap um, my whip around it. it it's brought a little bit closer to you. It's not grappling, it eventually fights its way off the whip, but it now is pulled in towards where you're standing. Okay. All right, that's your action. Is that what you want to do? That's my action, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna hold on to it. Okay, you got it. That finishes your go for Yes. All the people are now going to start fleeing and running off to the side. <laughs> Everyone starts screaming and charging out of the way, getting off the road as best they can, running and fleeing. This cart runs charging off the side as the Silgucks that are pulling it <laughs> continue yelling. These flee off the board, off the board, running. <laughs> Run away! Running away! Running away! Oh, fleeing oh, this way. <laughs> this guy's gonna be like, no! He's gonna run that direction. Got that. This guy's over this way, over here. <laughs> down the alley, this way to escape, and this individual is going to run on inside of the inn and vanish. They all dress like they can handle some shit, but oh, when, it, when it really yeah. comes down, they're all taking it. It's just <laughs> cosplayers. <laughs> yeah. Just cosplayers. Uh, they have conventions and uh, <laughs> sorry sometimes. Don't, don't hate. Hammer's made a PVC pipe. <laughs> Indeed, finishing there, go Fresh Cut Grass. Like. You are <laughs> up with the Imogen on deck. The, 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 the item in front of us is what? The item in front of you is a broom. It's a broom, okay. and It's just like, <laughs> I feel like Ashton's got this. So um, I will uh, I will turn to Ashton and sort of focus my, my eyes on him and just say, believe in yourself. And I will uh, I will I will do sympathetic binding with Oh we're going with there. Right. All right, so channel divinity, sympathetic binding. Yes, and I guess as my as my bonus action I could do the uh, the feature of that, but instead can I do can I cast a spell as a bonus action? Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll do uh, shield of faith, or as I call it, shield of help. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, Ashton, you, in addition to being just a fucking badass, oh. you now have a plus two to AC. Woo! That's concentration, so I have a concentration marker on you. That's great. Um, and then I will, just to get out of the way, I'll use, uh, you know what, I'll use my movement to um, take off my, my right hand and just start to put on. Uh, I have a I have a saw blade attachment that I'm going to start screwing into my to my right hand hand socket. <laughs> oh, you don't. Uh, and maybe just tuck tuck behind the uh, the box. 
Behind the box over here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just a drug on a plate. There you go. <laughs> All right, that finishes your go. Uh-huh. Imogen, you're up. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I want to try uh, using catapult and for focusing my energy on the. Is that a dagger spinning around? What do we got here? We got that a. That is a dagger right now. Although some sort of a, a looks like a kitchen knife. It's just like spinning in the air on its own for a second. It hasn't chosen a target. Okay. Can I try to use catapult on that object? Oh, interesting. Because I can use mm. it on objects, but I don't know about. These are technically animated, so it wouldn't. It not wouldn't work. work. Okay. Then in that case, um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna cast this at second level, so I can pick up something that's ten pounds. Would I be able to pick up that box that 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 robot thing just hid behind? Uh, I would say that box, the contents of that one is too heavy, but this one here that's been partially broken would be about 10 Sure, I will pick that up and yeah. throw it towards the rug that just moved in Over the there? whip. Yeah. You gotta go ahead and roll for an attack on that one. Okay. The rug is currently like wrapped in the thorn whip and being pulled over towards this strange fawn character over there who's smiling oddly through the whole experience <laughs> as you lift up, kind of concentrating your mind on this box chunk. It lifts and then rockets with incredible speed. You watch as the rug <laughs> seems to, to push like something had punched almost through to the other side and it comes inches from your face before crumbling back on the back side and the rug, you can see some of the threads are like now torn and fraying. I think, that's, I think that's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay, you got it. Patient defense. All right, it is now the rugs go. <laughs> <laughs> the rug is going to go ahead and. The rug is more dexterous than I am? That's close. bullshit. Uh, that's that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> the rug is now going to attempt to oh. smother. Mm. So you watch as the rug now whips around and begins to surround you and tighten and pull and crush you. You all, you cannot see. Not even certain yet if you can even breathe, but everything just goes dark as you feel your body now completely held against itself. I grok this. It is now. Let's see. Vladness, go. <laughs> you mentioned <laughs> the objects have gone postal, <laughs> and I turn into a form of dread. Ooh. I start to uh, transform. Let me mark it off. Wait for it, and my uh, bones start to crick and crack, and you see Laudna starts to extend even lengthier than she was, and even more spindly, and her fingers start to stretch and drip as a dark veil kind of comes over her face as black tears start coming out of her eyes, and the the fleeing folks that were heading this way run past you and scream even louder and run even faster. Don't worry, I've got you! <laughs> Keep going. I'm here to help! And I uh, start echoing cacophony of whispers and I cast Bane on. I'm going to go for Bane on the rug. <laughs> Bane on the kitchen knife, and let's do Bane on the sword. Uh, the All one. things that feel more deadly. I was born in real one. Rough fails. I was working on sword. I felt it coming. I failed. I had to pretend What's to get there the first. <laughs> and which one? The knife you said? The kitchen knife. It does succeed, I think, with the 16. What? I can't curse a knife. Sorry. It's a fucking all right. I just reached knife. down and pet the back of her creepy head. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but those two, you can watch as the the parts of them that are a bit frayed and damaged begin to almost unravel or begin to crack and break on their own as the magic seems to siphon away some of the enchantment that holds them aloft. Does that finish your turn? You stay put, or you want to move? No, I'll stay put. Alrighty. Uh, that brings us to the tables go. I forgot about the table. Yeah, the table's <laughs> going to do something. The table's, the table you're right there. The, the table's going to go ahead and back up. <laughs> <laughs> and slam into you, full no. force. It's going to move. It's going to attempt to. Actually, you know what? No, it's not good. Yeah, I can do that. Let's table this for now. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can attack so opportunity down. on it as it backs away from oh, you. Oh, is it relieving? Sure, it is, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking at a sword spinning in front of me. Uh, no, hear the 
and um, just pivot and swing down. Give it a quick stab. 13 misses. You swing wide and it hits the wood, mm -hmm. but it just hits wood. It just <laughs> cuts like a little scrape through it as it backs up 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> and just comes full blast, slamming into you with a charge. Slam attack. Uh, I'm a sword expert, not a table. <laughs> <laughs> As you are almost knocked off your ass. Ass. And then catch yourself. Ugh. And the table seems to be like getting yep. itself ready for a second round. That finishes its go. So now the sword's <clears throat> turn, which is already right next to you and goaded in to attack you. 16 to hit. I parry it off. Ah. Nice, nice, nice. That's good. Oh, the Bane? Bane. Mm -hmm. uh, Oops. Uh, the broom. Oh, boy. it's going to swoop in towards you and <laughs> swoop up in direction as the broom cracks you in the jaw, and you feel like oh, that bit of pain hit, but you like the pain. <sighs> and it hovers there. As if a broom could be angry, it goes. <laughs> it finishes its turn. You're up. Yeah. So I'm going to. Pop my hammer on the ground real hard, and I'm going to rage. Yeah. And I'm doing the gravity build, so okay. Here we go. Uh, the crystal, it's uh, the the glass inside my head starts to get a little dim, and and light just seems to get a little dimmer around me. There's just this strange. The broom immediately begins to almost like like begin act like it's being pulled slightly towards you. So I am going to uh, uh, just try and stomp it, flip, and hit it with the hammer on the ground. Go for it. So after you take the, the clock twice in the face by this broom, you pull back your weapon, and how do you want to do this? Hey! Oh! Do, do we share damage or no, by the way? <laughs> uh, I, I can absorb some. Okay, so you haven't, that's No, fine. I haven't. I am going to just take the edge of the hammer, I'm going to stomp the broom down on the ground, I'm going to just take the edge of the hammer, and I'm just going to come down and break it right in two. Ooh. Psh, it snaps and immediately just goes limp onto the ground. Fuck this. you! <laughs> and I'm gonna look up. I still have my movement. You do. Uh, let's see what'll be fun. I'm gonna move. Um, I'm gonna move towards that fucking table. You move to the table? Yeah. Up there? Yeah, whatever will flank with. with uh, a little guy. That would be the slow right there. Yeah. Alrighty. Your spring cleaning will be more severe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that finishes your go. That brings us now to the knife. The knife immediately moves uh, uh, 10 feet towards me. A knife? The knife is adjacent to you. Okay, never mind. All right. uh, yes, no, it's a good, good, good call tonight. Alright, All right, so the knife is now going to continue to swing towards you since you're the one who. Sure. Actually, no, you're next to it now. Yeah, it'll go after you, because you're All the right. one who's now within its space. Doesn't have a lot of intel. Ooh, not bad. That is going to be 21 to hit. Oh, that hits. You take five points of piercing damage, reduced to two. All right. At this point in time, you can see now people are beginning to scatter. Um, another figure seems to be charging out from inside of the, uh, the inn that you both have been coming from, shouting out into the fray. Travis, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah! Let Hi. us go. So, how do you enter, and if you wouldn't mind describing yourself? Uh, ah, uh, yes, for the good of Drassar, <laughs> <laughs> I will enter the fray with you. And you see a uh, 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 gentleman in his late 70s, early 80s, um, with beautiful silver-trimmed facial hair, a good receding hairline going, and and a nice ponytail pulled tight oh. in the back. Mm. Is it cool, nice, Grandpa? Nice purple refinery, <laughs> a, a, nice, a nice quaffed collar, and a, some burnt orange underneath. And he has a, a very elegant looking walking stick uh, in his hand, as, as well as a very beautiful looking rapier on the other. Hand. It's because he's dignified, That's not because right. he needs the stick. <laughs> That's right. So, where would you like to, or well, first of all, initiative, if you know Oh, 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 yes, that thing. So, top of the round, Dorian, you're up, or am you on deck? All right. All right, so I, two of my friends are jacked up side by side. I'm going to, um, I'm going to rush toward Fern, use my movement to get all the way over to her, wrapped up in the rug. Okay. And uh, bewildered, I will attempt to grapple the rug 
and try to pull it off of her. And try and pull it off of her? Yeah. <laughs> As you grab this rug and you can feel it, it is it is in the process of attempting to smother and crush Fern, and as you get a hold on it, you put your foot up, the one space where you can see the top of like her hip is, and pull away, and it rips off with a terrible tearing sound, and is no longer grappling you. Who did that? I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was me! It was oh, me! Oh, thank you! Mm-hmm. Some biceps sliding in that All right, so that's your action. You still have a bonus action if you'd like. Uh, do I now have the rug grapple? Uh, you have you have not grappled it necessarily. You've tried to free her. You said uh-huh. so. Okay. Those are two different actions. Okay, got okay. you. Uh, I will say, uh, okay, rug's gone. Do your best, and I'm gonna give her uh, bardic inspiration. Oh. Just like that. All right, cool. Finishing Dorian's go. Unless you want to move still. You still have. No, I'm so you're just, you're yeah. just t- up on the tussle. Or I'm you're up for in your own deck. Okay, I'm gonna make uh, use a bonus action to make a fainting attack, uh, another uh, maneuver, and go to the left, and then instantly. Uh, <laughs> Fall on the table. Catch it is a fainting table. table. <laughs> I'll juke to the left, and then instantly back to the right. And once the blade goes for where I was, I will spring up into the air, and I will just repeat what I did before and try to smash it down with my blade into the stone. Go for it. One attack. Fifteen. How do you want to do this? Oh. Oh. Orem jumps uh, 12 feet into the air, flipping, <laughs> and cracks the blade from the hilt on the pavement below. It snaps and scatters across the stone. <laughs> Broken and unmoving. Table. Shit. <laughs> uh, and I just stand my ground. All right. So Orem's gonna hurt me. You got it. Fern, you're up. Okay, am I still blinded? You are no longer blinded. The, no longer the rug has been pulled off of, the wool has been pulled from your eyes, <laughs> proverbially. Oh, uh, okay, so I see the rug in, in Dorian's hand. He's grappling with it, and I'm gonna just look at him and, and reach out my hands and put my hands on it and cast Burning Hands. Onto the rug. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Am I still holding the rug? <laughs> uh, you can. I will I'll allow you to let go as the flames are going past your hand, well, not you directly. Let go, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, easy enough to get the the rug without having to worry about anyone else. The rug is still kind of being held by Dorian before you like let go at the last minute and then. Okay, well, not amazing. Uh, <laughs> teeny, teeny, as teeny, the flames tear across the rug, the rug seems to almost attempt, if a rug could tuck and roll out of the way, that's what it's doing. It's like, no fire! It Bitch. singes the outside, and you can see a lot of the uh, exposed fraying edges kind of curl back into a black kind of matted mess, but it's still spinning in the space, getting ready to prepare for its next round. Uh, do you want to stay put? Yes. Okay. Finishing. I will stay put. Finishing for Stop turn. Drop and roll. <laughs> All the people start <laughs> fleeing what if, what if, what if further. Fitted so far, a sword and a off the broom. space. A broom. Wait, as a bonus action? Yes. Smoke can I summon my wildfire <laughs> spirit? We're doing. All it is an action to summon a wildfire. It's an action. Spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the board. Big guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> look for me at dawn on the third day, like here. This way. <laughs> 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 bonus action. Alrighty. Fresh cut grass, you are up. Imogen, you're on deck. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I don't know how. Uh, Never gets old. We'll see. I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> wow, we really will. We, are, we, we are. really will. This is a unique experiment. Uh, I'm gonna move in closer to the uh, to the kitchen knife. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. No. I don't know if I can get. That at the break. I don't know if I can get all the way up, but if I. There, five, ten. Yeah, you can get right up into it if you want to. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll fix it. I will. Uh, I'll activate my hand saw. <laughs> <laughs> you hear this loud whining sound as this metallic disc attached to the edge of the arm begins <laughs> to spin up. And I'm gonna try to, <laughs> you know, try to try to slice it. It's that blade on blade action. Yeah. Are you, are you, fl- are you flanking? Flanking or no? Uh, uh, technically no. Okay. <laughs> All right. You go, and it just darts up. It's very small and very nimble. All it's right. hard to catch a blade that's only about that long and is going through the air like an angry bee. Well, then, frustrated, I will, as a bonus action, cast Spiritual Weapon. Uh, okay. And I will uh, I will uh, make uh, something that most kitchen knives can't stand, which is a tomato. 
because it's just really hard. It's, so hard. it's, it's really hard. Yeah. 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 It's very, serrated. So, there you go. So a tomato will attack this knife. We'll say a spiritual tomato apparate. I don't have a tomato mini, my apologies. It looks but that, really close to That's as yeah, close yeah, as yeah. I can get there. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Travis. Time off. God! Uh, go ahead and roll your attack for the for wow. your spiritual tomato. An apple. That misses. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's this, all right. This knife was ready. It it hates tomatoes so much. It doesn't want to be near one. It's a Santoku. They can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Finish your turn. Uh, yep. No. Let me just you're up. All right. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna step forward a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm a bit closer, maybe ten feet forward. You got it. Um, and I want to be as long as I'm within thirty feet of what's happening. You're within thirty feet of a lot of it. You have to get a little closer if you want to get near the table, but. Okay, I'm gonna step forward of ten more feet then. All right, all right, and um, I'm gonna spend a sorcery point. Okay. And I'm gonna hold my hand up, and you're gonna see um, these lightning flares that are on my arm start to get a bit brighter and climb up my arm a bit. And I'm gonna use twin spell. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna cast a witch bolt at the kitchen knife and the rug at the same time. You've got it, okay, roll for an attack for each. So the the rug at this point, ducking out of the way of the flames, also ducks the way out of the bolt that you're mostly focusing on the knife, since that seems to be the hardest to hit. So that witch bolt goes wide and just strikes the stone for no reason. However, the other one directly impacts the knife as it tries to duck out of the way. And you see the knife suddenly surrounded by this kind of purple uh, flashing electric aura of energy. Go ahead and roll damage and double it. How do you want to do this? Hey! Hey! Fuck that knife. Uh, just for a second, no, my no, eyes. No, 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 <laughs> Story in eleven. Uh. <laughs> and uh, a lightning bolt is going to come out of my hand and uh, just turn the knife bright, bright, bright white, and just kind of—I I don't think I can crumble it, but it's going to turn the knife completely black. Okay. As it as the arc <laughs> hits it, you watch as it <laughs> dissipates, and the knife hits the ground, clink, and just kind of bends on the impact. It's so heated by the impact that it's just completely bereft of enchantment. <sighs> That finishes your go. Uh, e you know what? I'm gonna use my uh, telekinetic shove, and I'm gonna pull this little robot dude. He seems like he might be struggling a bit, and just pull him back five feet five away feet. from that. You nine. got it. Ooh. Telekinetic. What? You don't know what happened, but you got dragged back across the ground. As you look Ooh. around, all you see is this this woman hand out staring at you. Shiny day to you. Oh, you too. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it is now the rug's turn. The rug. The rug. Oh, uh, less worried about the fire, more worried about the one that pulled it off of its previous quarry is going to go after you, oh, okay. Dorian. All right. How dare you, you are now wrapped in grapple <laughs> by <laughs> it, unable to move as you now. <laughs> Pulled tightly with it, no sight, nothing, and you can feel the bones in your shoulders starting to like get ready to pop out of the socket with the force that it's crushing on you. Mm, it's not fun. Uh, finishing its go, uh, Ladna, you're up. All right, so we have the rug and the table, right? Um, Some chairs we can have all day. The rug, I almost have a picnic. Um, I'm gonna fuck the rug. It seems like more of a problem. Uh, Eldritch Blast <laughs> to the rug. Eldritch Blast. Nine damage. Nine damage. How do you want to do Um. Well, I was going to say, because of my former dread, it would have to make a wisdom saving throw or be afraid of me, but since I kill it. It's so afraid of you, it's yes, dead. <laughs> I just I Can't look more into the rug's eyes or where I perceive its tassels. eyes to be, its tassels, <laughs> and I just look deep into it as I just coat it with black ooey. <laughs> and I go, yes. It falls to the ground and slowly begins to just turn into this like what did you crimson. Know it was me. <laughs> <laughs> this crimson sludge that just sloughs off of you into the ground. You glance right up at this terribly frightening black veiled creature. Hello. Uh, 
Hello. Hi. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, this is fun. It's so much fun. Did you just do that? Yes. Okay, thank you. She shouts from 40 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. All right, that finished your go? Yes. You want to move or stay put? No. All right. I'm quite comfortable. Your turn, sir. Uh, I'm immediately quite concerned about <laughs> the creepy ass bitch <laughs> 40 feet away, dripping with the goo. Uh, but I think she's friendly, so I will. Uh, what's left? The, the table? Table. Yeah. Table. Uh, I will uh, unsheath table. my gamb uh, gambler's blade rapier and rush towards the table and take a mighty strike. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking laugh. <laughs> and I will wager a plus three to hit on that. All right, you go for it. <laughs> As you cut through the table, a deep cut. That table looks cut. Probably have to knock a price off of it in the window. Uh, fire sale. A second slash, yes. Yeah. You do. Okay. Yeah, your level, you do. Twice carving into it. As I spray my map. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, that's a, <laughs> you don't say anything, but it's all lore. Go. <laughs> Drink of my blood. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be on the big screen. Yeah. Oh, God. Slow mo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Look at the first one. Three, two, two. Yeah. Slash zone. Slash zone. Uh, 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 sorry, everyone in the first three rows has ponchos. <laughs> <laughs> Two deep gashes in the table. Good job. It, turns over. <laughs> <laughs> it is now the table's go. Oh no. Oh, this guy's. Both of these guys are run. They are way out of the Um, The table is going to go ahead and. Oh, the deep gash is going to turn on you. No, oh, wait. Okay. That is 19 points of bludgeoning damage against you. I will. I wow. will. Wait, what? I, I will. I will uh, see this happening to this old geezer. Uh, and, okay, I'm upright. And uh, I, I will. Barely. I will transfer half of his suffering to myself. Okay, so you're gonna use that reaction ability. Okay. So half damage to you. Bless you, small creature. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, that brings us to Ashton. You're up. Uh, I just watched uh, lightning come out of this purple-haired haired woman and fry the knife I was about to fuck with. So, a little put out. I'm just going to take a big spin and see if I can knock the feet out of this table. Holy How do you want to do this? <laughs> I am going to spin around, knock all four feet out, flip over, crack it in half, and then just keep hitting it until it's powdered. The table doosh, snaps with a loud cracking noise, and then smash, smash, smash over and over again. This table just eventually is reduced to a pile of splinters. Yeah, I could fire. probably recycle some of that. <sighs> okay. 